Hello and welcome to my GetResponse landing page tutorial. Here I'm going to show you two great ways when it comes to creating a landing page. One is going to be for lead generation where you can grow your email list and another one is going to be for any type of pre-sell where you have a video or just any type of content and you want to get someone to click and take an action. If you'd like to follow along or simply test out GetResponse, I will leave my link in the description and if you click that you can try them for free. Let's begin. So the first landing page that I'm going to be showing you is going to be for generating leads. Keep in mind that if you're going to be doing that, you're just going to need a list. Just very quickly, I'll let you know how that goes. You would simply go to contacts list and then create a new list because when you do that, you're going to have a list to add your contacts to once your landing page is created. It's pretty self-explanatory. So if that's already done, you're going to be good. But if not, just follow those instructions. Let's begin here. We're going to be on tools and of course, landing pages. And from here, let's create a landing page. Now we can use a ready-made template or use an AI powered builder. It's really going to be up to you, but for this, I like using the ready-made templates and most specifically, I like using the basic ones because I think they're the easiest to edit. Let's go here now. And from here, like I talked about previously, blank templates are going to be some of my favorites. If you like any of these and you feel like they look great or there's not too much you're going to be needing to edit, you know, feel free to go with that. I'm going to show you the bare bones basic because once you know how to edit these, you can obviously just add a little bit more to them or delete a little bit, whatever it's going to be. So for this one, given the fact that we want to get signups, I like this one because the signup form is already on the top and we can actually delete a lot of the rest of the landing page. What I've noticed in many of my years online testing is that the simpler the landing page when it comes to lead generation, the better. So let's click on use template. All right, so here we are. Pretty much what I want my landing page to look like is going to be exactly like this. The reason for this is that there's no other distractions aside from this, which I'm going to remove. In fact, let's do that now. Let's hover over it. Now think of it. We want someone to sign up for our free gift, get on our newsletter, whatever it's going to be. That's going to be our main goal. We don't need anyone trying to share on social. It's just so much incongruent. It goes away from what we're looking to do. So that's why I'm deleting that. Now, you can always add more. But like I said, in my opinion, I just like having that one action, one thing to do. So I'm just going to delete the other sections here. And just like that, what we can also do here is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to move it down here to the bottom. It's going to be hard to see because the text is black. So what we can just do is highlight all of that and go to font color and just make it white. Okay. Now, if you wanted to keep some socials here, that's fine. You can obviously put them in there. You can keep them in or take them out. That's up to you. I'm not going to focus too much on like the small details, but I'm putting this here just for the reason of say, like if you need a contact, maybe you have a privacy policy, you know, the types of things that you're going to want when you have uh, a landing page where you're generating leads. Okay. So we have our main headline, we have a little bit more, and then we just have our email and name. So what I wanna do is click right here on name. In my opinion, I don't like using name. The more fields that you have, the more difficult it's gonna be for someone to opt in. Might not make a huge deal when it comes to two, but just think of this scenario. Someone arrives on this page and they wanna get their free cheat sheet, and they see they have to enter their first name, their last name, their email, their address, their goldfish's name, their blood type, and if they're married or not, okay? Just random, right? The idea here is that the less fields that they have to fill out, the better. And if you're not doing webinars or you're not like calling them or anything like that, probably not a huge deal to get their first name unless there's something else where you really need it. So with that said, I'm just going to click on X here and we just have our email. So there's one thing I also want to do here. I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to drag it above. So this is going to be the formula here. So free X reveals. What are they getting right here? This could be a cheat sheet, which say for example, that's what I'm gonna be doing in this ex example here. It could be a free cheat sheet, it could be a free ebook, it could be a free video training, it could be a free case study, it could be a free coaching call, it could be whatever it's going to be, right? Simply let your audience know exactly what they're going to be getting, okay? This is going to be the big headline. This is gonna be like usually what you split test the most. This is what will make or break. In other words, just how beneficial is this to your perfect audience? So how to yay without boo. You cannot go wrong with this headline. So you have something that someone is looking to get, try and make a headline out of it. So what is it that they want right here and what do they not have to do, okay? By doing this, you create a great way of differentiating yourself from what other people are selling. Like this is obviously gonna be a free gift in this case, but even if this free gift can sound more enticing than what other people are gonna buy, you probably have a really good uh, freebie here. So to say how to launch your online business, okay? And this is a little bit big, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight all of this just drag like this and make it a little bit smaller, of course. So say like maybe a little bit bigger. 
that was 40. Okay, and you can actually just continue it right here if you want without losing your shirt on paid ads. This is what I've done for you know over a decade. I have done paid ads, but not primarily. So this is something that I could obviously utilize when it comes to giving away a free gift. And if you'll notice, there is some spacing here. If you click on any of these icon, icons or like the boxes here, and you go to the block settings, what you can do is just make the padding a little bit smaller. And you'll notice it's like a little bit closer now. So a little bit more up this one as well. It's perfect. So I think that looks much better, okay? What we wanna do is click on sign up here. We'll just call this like sign up form. And there is gonna be one thing that you really wanna change here. So what you can do right here is what to do after a form is submitted. So you can show a message, which is gonna be the easiest way to do that because you won't need to create another page. You can redirect to another page or site. And after you know how to create a landing page, what you could do is just create a, simply a thank you page and link it to that. Or you could just do show a thank you page. So. Really up to you. Both of these, the top are gonna top and bottom are gonna be the quickest. But I'm just gonna do something like this. Okay, so I put thank you so much. Please check your inbox for your free gift. Okay, something like that. Also, if you want to change around your logo, we can click on that. I do happen to have mine here, so I'm gonna to go to my files and use this. And this is cut off ever so slightly, or it looks like it was. We make it a little bit bigger. But like I said, not a whole lot going on here, and that's perfectly fine. Okay, so you can just click on save. That's pretty much going to be it. You know, I know it looks very simple. Feel free to, you know, spruce it up a little bit, maybe add some more colors and so on and so forth. But you'll notice when you arrive on this page, aside from having like the, the terms and privacy stuff, there is only one action that they can do here. They can get the free gift and you can get their email or they can leave. That's why landing pages are powerful because they don't have all these other distractions. Like we had before, we don't need them to share it on Twitter and other social media websites. Notice how there's no drop downs here where they can visit other things. One main goal, that's what you focus on. That's how you can really help increase your conversion. So as simple as that is, let's click on continue. All right, and remember in the beginning I said you wanna make sure you have a, a contact list. So the reason why I said that is because this is where you're gonna add them to it. So you can also add them to an autoresponder cycle. I'll be doing a separate video when it comes to setting up a tutorial for that. So in case you need to do that, but generally day zero is where you want it. So they get it immediately. Uh, favicons are gonna be the little things up here. In case you wanna add one of those, you can do that. If you wanna add a cookie consent banner, we have some analytics when it comes to chats, analytics and remarketing. I think this one's gonna be fine with the statistics. If if you want to use this, you can. It's locked, so I think this is going to be yes with a custom domain. And of course, business information, if you need updating it, you can do that there. But everything looks pretty normal here, assuming everything's set up in your account. Let's click on continue. All right, and I'm just going to be calling this the free cheat sheet. You know, I'm going to be putting free. This looks fine in terms of the free get response domain. If you do want a custom one, you can do that down below. I have a custom domain, but I already have it hooked up elsewhere with my own website, so I don't personally need one here, but if in case you wanted to do that, that would be down here with buying and connecting. Nevertheless, let's click on publish and take a look. All right, and so there it is. Let's click on the actual landing page here. Oh, so simple. And remember, you can just what you can do is highlight these and link these. I didn't talk about that, but you know, when you have one of those, and I'm just gonna put in a random email right here. All right, so we have a random email at gmail.com and sign up. And thank you so much. Please check your inbox for the free gift. And just like that, that's how quick and easy it can be to get up and running in terms of you know generating leads. Like I said, don't be fooled by the simplicity of this. I know it doesn't look super amazing and so on and so forth. It's the simple and basic squeeze pages and landing page that tend to convert the best. That's at least been in my experience and many others. All right, so that was creating a landing page, more specifically a squeeze page where you can capture leads. The next one's gonna be more of a pre-sell page, otherwise known as a bridge page, where you just simply wanna get more clicks to a specific offer or anything, whatever it's going to be, right? Once again, let's go back to landing pages and click on create landing page here. I'm gonna go with a ready-made template again. A lot of this is gonna be business as usual. Let's go to blank templates. And for this one, what I wanna do is use one that has more of just a headline. We have text and we also have a little button here. So I'm gonna go with this one here. We're not gonna be generating leads and this one just clicks. And perfect. What I'm gonna do is once again, I'm gonna delete the bottom aspects of this. We just want the top here. Perfect. And of course, we have our social media stuff. Once again, I don't need that there. You can keep them on the bottom if you want. I will change my logo very quickly. That will add some. That's probably like the only thing that's not black and white, but that's fine. Make it a little bit bigger. Perfect. So 
What I like doing for my specific landing pages, if I am looking to say, you know, pre-sell an offer or just send traffic to something that someone might be interested, what we can do here is go to the plus section. Now we can start adding elements just to kind of give you an idea about how this works. So we have sections, text, buttons, dividers, videos, images, spacers, social medias, a few other things like pop-ups, timers, and so on and so forth. What we want to use here is going to be the video. So let's drag and drop it right under our headline right here. And I have a uh, link right here. This is going to be one of my older get response uh, reviews. I'm going to be updating it, but until then, let's just paste it in there and click on OK. And just like that, that's going to be this. So we have our headline here. Now, you could always use, a, use the how to yay without boo on, or that's something more of like a question. It's really up to you depending on what the video is going to be, but here is one for an example. So is get response the number one autoresponder? So I'm asking a question. It could be probably a little bit more specific, maybe maybe say for like for affiliate marketing or like has it stood the test of time? And this can be a little bit extra, like click the play button below to find out, dot, dot, dot. And once again, I think the padding here is a little bit too big. So I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller. So things are a little bit more compact there. Once again, with 12, looks great. And we have our call to action. So let's click on this here. And let's say this is going to be going to get response. We could do click here to try get response for free. Okay. Where should your button link to? We definitely want to go to an external page or website, which is good. I'm just going to add in my get response link right here. Okay. So there's my get response link and we want it opening in a new tab. In my opinion, every time I do landing pages like this, you definitely want to have them open up in a new tab, especially if they're watching a video. Cause if you think of it this way, they click on play, they watch half of it and then they click on the button and it interrupts the video. That way, what you can do is have this open up in a new tab and it won't interrupt what they're watching here. So in my opinion, I would recommend doing that. For this, I'd recommend just putting some color in this. I think it looks a little bit better when it pops. And once again, not a whole lot going on here. And you know what, that's a good thing because these landing pages are so quick and easy to get up and running that you're not gonna have to spend too much time figuring things out. You pretty much have a formula for your landing pages, how they're gonna go when it comes to say pre-selling or using a bridge page, right? You have your main headline here. You have a little bit more where this could just be a call to action. It could be another question. Either way, the main goal is here, obviously, like to watch this and of course, click this button. That's gonna be the main thing. So that's just about it when it comes to the landing page. Like I said, very simple. There are gonna be some controls here and like muted autoplay and loop and so on and so forth. In case you wanted to change those around but I think everything is fine the way it is uh, let's just click on save here and we can do continue all right so this also shows the subscription settings when someone signs up to the landing page they're added to the list you picked keep in mind there isn't going to be a subscription box here so even though like this is showing that it doesn't mean they're going to be going there this is all going to be the same here favicon analytics web push business as usual right let's click on continue all right, and everything moving forward is gonna be the same. I'm just calling this get response. I'm doing GR, just you know, short for get response. And let's click on publish. Let's check it out. And so here is the final product. So simple, but you know what? It simple works here. Obviously, we can play and watch the video. And if we click here, we should get taken to the get response home page. And that's going to be that. So that has been the get response landing page tutorial. Pretty straightforward. And like I said, keep your landing pages as simple as possible. It allows you to template them. It allows you to get up and running as quickly as possible. And you notice there's no distractions whatsoever on both of the landing pages that I created. Doing so will help you increase your conversions. And that's despite the fact that they're not the coolest looking landing pages in town. Don't worry about that when you're generating leads and sales that's all that's going to matter if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below and i will do my best to get back to you but aside from that my name is james if you haven't gotten to check out get response my affiliate link will be in the description in case you want to check it out thanks again so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one